Mr. Mayor. Oh, good to see you. How nice Welcome. to see you. Thank you. Welcome. And thank you for taking the sure. time. Just want to yeah, share a little a bit. Seat. Thanks. Maybe we can chat. Absolutely. Just want to learn a little bit more about what okay. the mayor of this great city does. So what do you see as your primary responsibilities well, as the mayor? Primary is to run the city. I act as the city manager. We don't have that in this, in this form of government. So we look at all the day-to-day -day stuff, right? transportation, police services, the library, public works, taking care of the lawns and, and uh, the different things we have in the city. But a big part of the job is just to be responsive to what the public needs. When they call in, we try to respond within 24 hours, and I think that's really important. Uh, we're trying to create an active downtown, which is something we don't have. That means some parts of downtown will be an 18-hour day. Exciting, the last year and a half, we've had 250 new housing units appear. We're bring, people are bringing in plans for another couple hundred, maybe 300 more. We've got some affordable housing happening on the northwest side, and we've had it going to happen off of Allen Boulevard. So that's really exciting. And the big thing is I've always been a believer in community. And last year, all the different events we have, most are outdoors, we had over 30,000 people wow. come and be entertained and be educated. And that was yeah. really cool. And the last thing I'd like to say is that we're really trying to involve our diverse community. We have a bold program. We have other ones where, where people are first coming to this country. And you got to remember, one out of four is not born in the U.S. who live in Beaverton. One out of three is a person of color. We're trying to make them feel comfortable. And once you understand something, it's much easier to participate. And I'm proud of the reaction we're getting for that. Fabulous. Yeah. Sounds like you're busy. Yep. So what is the most important thing to you to see happen in Beaverton? Well, you know, it's really a growing city. Our population is moving up. Our business impact is moving up. And we need to keep investing what makes the city really great. Keep our city safe. Keep our parks great. Our schools are simply amazing. We're second to none, in my opinion. And we have to keep our doors open for business. You know, Nike's growing, but they're, they're the big folks. They've added a couple thousand. There's a lot of small business here adding one, two, five, ten. And that adds up to real success. So there's also a council. Tell me how what the mayor does versus what the council does. How does that work? Well, in Beaverton, it's called a strong mayor where we actually let me run the city. I have eight departments that report directly to me. And uh, council provides policy. They approve the budget. And staff-wise, there's about 550 employees here. Our budget is now $210 million. And uh, so, as I said, council sets direction, and then we try to follow that direction. There's an interaction, obviously, between the professionals and our electeds, and it's really working. We are making great strides as a team here, and I really try to make this a team effort. So how do you actually spend your time, your day? Well, I guess I'm a meeting junkie. Last year we tallied up a little over 1,700. It's been about that number for the last seven years. And that gets me about a 50-50 split in terms of the hours inside the building or attending meetings. Being a manager, being a, a cheerleader, being a collaborator. And we, I serve on a number of regional, state, and some national boards. It's really been fun to get Beaverton out in front of the, of the country. And so here, I meet with stakeholders, business leaders, community leaders, citizens one-on-one, -on -one, small groups, service clubs, and uh, that's how I really tackle the job. And you hang out with Billy the Beaver from time to time. Yeah, Billy's really he's become a rock star, and we've had, we've had some fun with Billy. I won't skip the stories, but I was just at uh, a neighborhood cleanup day with Billy the Beaver actually using the little device to pick stuff up. So it's, it's a blast. Kids love him, and tr truth be told, adults do too. So what keeps you up at night? Well, you know, the big thing for me is keeping the city safe. And that's why our police department is winning awards. We're rated as the safest city in the Northwest. We're now in the top 40 safest cities in the country. And that's really important. And to keep us there, the thing that really worries me about the police department is, is the building they're in will not survive an earthquake. We've got to build something that's resilient. And there, when we need the police and our emergency management team the most, we have to stay within the budget, that they can be there for us. And I think that's really important. Another thing that I worry about is can we continue to grow the employment base, diversify, mm -hmm. react to changes in the world. On a, on a management point of view, I worry about the retirement and the pension called PERS going up in terms of its cost to the city as well as the cost of insurance. That's really concerning and if you've got to take money to do that, you take it from somewhere else. And, uh, and I'll, I'll, the last one that really bothers me is homeless kids and homeless mm -hmm. families, homeless moms. And people are also being forced out of their apartments due to increasing rents. That is something we have to tackle. It's a basic function. People should have a place to sleep and food to eat. And believe it or not, in Beaverton, there's a lot of folks that don't mm -hmm. hit that one. So we're going to try to tackle this this next year. And finally, what do you like best about being the mayor of Beaverton? 
Well, you know, it's a lot of fun to convene people and solve problems, and I get to do that all the time. Um, you know, the ones that, the mayors that I really admire the most are the ones that don't have the, all the answers. They go, come on, let, let's get together. Let's talk about it. You have a common problem, we have a common problem. Let's solve them together. So I try to pattern myself after successful mayors, invite people to the table, talk about it, disagree, but let's hear your ideas. Let's see how you can make a problem disappear or make it softer on people. And I think it's really important that you got to be an optimist. I'm quite often kidded as being a cheerleader for Beaverton, and I enjoy that. I do it all over the country. And I talk about Beaverton, I also talk about the region. And I truly believe no city can stand alone, no region can stand alone, because we're in a world economy now. Well, thank you. That was very yeah. informative, and I really appreciate your time. Well, you know, you made me smile because you made me reflect on the things you don't spend time on, saying where have we gone, where do we want to go. But the team inside the city right now, in terms of council and the staff, is really gelling. And the region's watching, and we're trying to make that happen regionally. And it's working. There's a, I hope I could talk for hours on that one, but it is a region that's going to help us win. Thank you so much. Thank you.